Hello, I'm John Thurston, and I'm honored to serve the people of Arkansas as Secretary of State. As an Arkansan, voting is a critical part of our democracy and allows your voice to be heard on matters that are important to you. Some Arkansans are unable to go to the physical poll locations during Election Day. For those that want to do their civic duty but are unable to reach a polling site or are out of the country, Absentee and the Uniformed and Overseas Citizens Absentee Voting Act, also known as UOCAVA ballots, are a solution. My staff and I are working together to address some of the questions regarding voting and elections through an informative video series. I would like to thank you for taking the time to watch this series and we hope you will find this information on how to vote using absentee or UOCAVA ballot helpful. Welcome back to another video on voting in Arkansas. In this video, we'll be discussing absentee voting. We'll also talk about a special kind of absentee voting known as UOCAVA, but we'll come back to that in a minute. Let's dive in. If you will be away from your designated polling location on election day, you may qualify to vote by absentee ballot. You qualify for an absentee ballot if you will be unavoidably absent from your polling location, will be unable to attend the polls because of illness or physical disability, or are in the hospital or the resident of a long-term care or residential care facility. Additionally, if you are going to be away for work or on vacation during an election, you can submit an absentee ballot application to your local county clerk's office by mail, fax, or email. After receiving an absentee ballot request, a packet containing instructions, the absentee ballot, and additional information is sent to the absentee voter's requested address. This packet details each requirement and procedure needed to make the process of voting and returning the absentee ballot as easy as possible. For example, absentee voters are required to provide a copy of their photo ID with their returned ballot. If a voter does not already have an acceptable photo ID, the county clerk's office can provide a voter ID verification card, free of charge. Absentee voters must also ensure that the provided voter statement is properly completed, signed, and submitted in their return packet. Incorrect packet information, or omissions, can result in ballot processing delays or expulsions, resulting in the ballot not being counted. Up next, we are going to be talking about UOCAVA, so don't go away. 